welcome to my Kamiyage Aerial Yoga channel. Today's Aerial Yoga class is Vinyasa Flow and it's more suitable for intermediates for up. We're going to focus on the whole body, mixing strength and flexibility, uh, targeting main muscle groups such as core, arms and legs, and opening through the hips and heart. So let's get started. Let's meet in a circle. Let's start as always with embryo pose and a little bit concentration of your mind. If you're not sure how to get into embryo, just check the video above. So now as you all cozy up in embryo pose, straighten your back, you're going to relax your shoulders, drop your arms, hands. Relax your head, just leaning backwards into the silk, or if you feel some tensions in your neck or shoulders, just lean forward with your forehead. So whichever thing is comfortable for today, just make sure that everything more or less is passive. As now we will start with a more inner practice. And now just deepen your breath. Consciously feel how the air comes in and out. With each breath, just coming back to the present moment and feeling the physical sensations. When you inhale, what's happening, how the belly expands or your ribcage or chest lift, lifts up. Maybe you will feel the broadness and expansion for your back. Just notice each, every little thing was happening in your body at this moment. And how each breath as if makes your mind quieter, with less chat and sigh, as if you're exhaling what is unneeded or not serving you anymore. Just breathing out and with each breath feeling lighter. And inhaling that new power, new energy. And now as you got more connected to your body and your breath, it's about time to set intention for today's class and your intention could be anything from the physical level to mental or spiritual just whatever it feels uh, right for you today perhaps you would want to achieve some uh, you know in physical level strength maybe you want to awaken your body or perhaps just relax or maybe just gain more energy and positivity. So whatever is powering you today to move forward. So a few more moments. Just settling in with the intention, with the breath. And then slowly just extend your legs and take them out of the silk as we will move to warm up. So push the silk away from you and let's meet all the way down on a mat on your all fours. So now as we're standing on all fours, just make sure your fingers spread and palms under your shoulders. And then just lift your right foot and put it in the silk. Feet flexed just as a hook. And I will turn to the side and you will see more clear. So first of all, just moving through the back, cat cows, warming up the spine, inhaling, arching the up, exhaling and curling the feet to your belly. Inhaling again, opening through your chest, exhaling and extending through your back. Inhaling again, opening and exhaling, looking to your belly. Now adding up opposite a leg and the arm. So inhale and reach up for your left arm and extend your right leg. Exhaling, bending your left elbow and right knee. 
Inhaling again, opening and arching, lifting through your shoulders, exhaling and curling. Inhaling, opening and exhaling into your center. One more time. Exhaling into the center. And now inhaling, opening, and this time we're gonna twist through your butt higher. So bend your knee and take the silk behind you with your left hand. And when you and grab the silk, or if you can't reach it, just leave the arm reaching for it. But if you did, just bend a little bit your elbow to open more for your upside and lifted arm shoulder, which is your own left side. And look up to the ceiling, just a little bit twisting through your upper back. Two more breaths. One more. And then exhaling all the way down. And now just turn your right foot back and open through your right hip and extend the right leg. So we're ending up into this half side plank. And here we're not as much strengthening as much we stretching through the side. So inhaling and reaching for your right arm forward, big circle around. Exhaling down, inhaling again, opening and uh, drawing a circle. Exhaling down, hip down too. Inhaling, opening through your ribcage, through your chest. Exhaling down. And one more time, inhaling, big circle around. And exhaling, coming back into the front. And now let's move uh, towards Vinyasa, but before that, let's just meet in three-legged dog. So put your leg foot on your two toes and lift up through your hips, extend and then lengthen through your spine while pushing away from the mat, through your palms, and uh, just draw your chest towards your thigh. Even if your heel is up or the knee is bent, the most important thing is your straight back. So a few more breaths in here. Just feel the groundness through your hands, through your foot. One more breath in. And breathing out, looking in front of you in between the palms. And let's roll through the round back to the plank. So lift your heel and as if the way go through the spine into a straight line and again meeting in three legged up. So inhaling, lifting your heel for way into the plank, exhaling and three legged. So a few more time, just waving through but above but bra and coming into three legged up, last time. And now we adding up the push up or chaturanga. So again, through the weight, coming into the line, and this time exhaling, bending your elbows by our sides, into the chaturanga, and then lifting into the upward dog, looking up to the ceiling, pushing from the mat, and shoulder blades together, so don't uh, drop your shoulders, and don't sink into them, but keep on pushing up, and then again, three-legged dog. So let's do it more fluently, flowy. So inhaling and the plank, exhaling, chaturanga, inhaling, upward dog, exhaling, three-legged. And one more time, inhaling, around back into the plank, exhaling, push up, inhaling, upward dog, exhaling, and three-legged. And now, the fun part, that we still have the other side. So bring your uh, left foot inside the silk, changing, and draw your right knee on the ground. So first of all, let's start through, with a few cat cows, inhaling and arching, exhaling and round. So, and a few more times, just moving through your back. Last one, and now we will add upper side leg and Arm. So inhaling and reaching through your right le uh, right arm and left leg. Exhaling and bending upper side elbow and knee. Inhaling, opening through your shoulder and chest. Exhaling and curling. Few more. And now as we open, we're going all the way back. And reaching for the silk behind into that spinal twist. If you can, just reach out for the silk all the way. If you're holding the silk, bend your elbow to open even more through your shoulder. 
which is now the right one, and looking up to the ceiling. So feel that openness through the chest, through your rib cage, your abdominal area. A few more breaths. Last one. And draw your arm all the way on the ground. So now we move to that semi side plank, but I will move away from you so we will see it from the back. So opening your left hip up, extend your leg and left arm up. So inhaling and reaching over your head through the big circle and exhaling down through the hips and arm. Inhaling and opening and even arching back. Exhaling all the way down. So feel this openness and space around your body. One more time. Inhaling up. And exhaling down all the way and coming in front, in the middle. So now that few vinyasas. Put your right foot on your two toes and push away from the mat. So just drawn toward the thigh. Feel that and lengthening through your spine, a few breaths, just feeling again the connection through the pumps and foot on the ground. One more breath in and out. And then inhaling and lifting your heel up, looking in between your arms into the back, and exhaling, free leg up. Inhaling, lifting through the ground back into your plank, and exhaling, free leg in. A few more times for that wave, wave motion. It's feeling vertebra by vertebra going up and down. And now we add a chaturanga, full vinyasa. So inhaling into the plank, exhaling, push up down. Inhaling, opening through the upward dog. And exhaling, three legged. And again, lifting through your heel, inhaling into the plank, exhaling. Elbows by our sides, don't drop your belly, holding your core, and then we open it and arching, exhaling, three leg. And last time, inhaling here, exhaling, push up, inhaling, upward dog, exhaling, three leg. And let's meet all the way down on a mat for a few breaths in child's pose before moving to today's. Full vinyasa flow. One more breath. So inhaling and coming up on all fours again, and this time bring your right foot into the silk as we're moving into our main vinyasa flow today. So let's begin first in three legged dog. And inhaling here and coming into the plank. Hold the plank here because now we're moving only with the left leg. So one more time, inhale. And exhaling, bring your left knee to the chest. Inhaling, plank. Everything is engaged and holding into one place. Exhaling, lift your left leg all the way to the right leg. And inhaling, back on the mat. And one more time, exhaling, left knee to the chest. Inhaling, plank. Exhaling, lift up to the right leg. And inhaling all the way on the ground and three legged dog. From here on, we will move with that right foot. So inhaling and exhaling, open your right hip up and moving to the side. Inhaling, coming back and turning your hip towards the mat. Inhaling, opening and Pushing the silk as much as you can, but shoulders still in one line. Inhaling, coming back. Exhaling to the side. Feel the obliques active. And inhaling, coming back. A few more. Exhaling to the side. Inhaling. And exhaling again. And momentum for a second. And coming back. Looking in between your palms and bend your left knee towards your wrists into a half pigeon. Just a few moments, relaxing your head, dropping your shoulders while passively stretching through the hips and quads of the right leg. One more breath in, breathing out, 
And now inhaling, lifting up, but we will stay on elbows and as now we move into the side plank. So now a little more move of weight to your left elbow and turn your palm inwards. The right palm is on the ground and extend your bottom leg, which is left, and return to the side, lifting through your hips, both legs extended and flexed, active, lifting up your right arm up and looking to the ceiling. So keep pushing from your bottom shoulder. Don't collapse into the ground. Keep pushing away. One more breath. And now exhale and bend your right elbow and rotate inwards. Inhaling and opening. And exhaling again, going down and inhaling, opening. This time exhaling on all the way down on the ground of your palm, but now you will activate your bottom legs for the inner thigh muscles. So inhaling and exhaling, lifting your bottom leg, inhaling down, and few more. Exhaling up and down. And then exhale up and down. And this time we will turn, so push away from the ground into three-legged and inhaling to the plank, exhaling. Left knee towards the chest, and this time we put it all the way down then on the mat, the foot into the lunge. So just a little bit move forward and backwards to open up through the hips and extending the hip flexors and warming them up. Keep extending through your back leg, but through the heel. And now more power up through the legs. So now feel the ground through the front foot while the knee is always 90 degrees and lift your arms by your hips shoulder blades together open your chest and just feel the broadness while looking still in front of you don't collapse feel the strength a few more breaths i know it's challenging but keep holding the pose to the, keep that heat inside the body one more breath and now we're breathing out and extending from the front leg and bringing the back leg to the thigh. Okay, and now let's bring the sole behind you. And the, perhaps you will need to jump a little bit backwards into the middle. And we will go to the dancer pose, more arching and balancing. So grab the silk as low as you can, inhaling and exhaling. Pull yourself in front while the leg is pushing away from the back. Elbows are narrow, just looking in front or even up to the ceiling. Again, feel the space through the chest, through the neck. And make sure that the right hip is still not turned inwards, rather than open to the side. So a few more breaths, keep on balancing and opening. And push it, the leg away while the silk will be pulling forward. Last breath. And breathing out. Coming back into a standing pose, but now we will uh, stretch through the uh, quads, the front of the thigh on the right leg. So take your elbows all the way through the silk. And now, as we are here, just squat down through the front leg. Don't worry that your knee will go away from your foot because there is no weight, so it doesn't matter. And now leaning backwards and into a squat. Opening through the chest while you feel a quite intense stretch for your quads in here. So a few more breaths here. And then inhaling, coming up. And now just grab the silk firmly and extend through your back leg. We will go to the split. Inhaling and exhaling. Uh, bring your weight all the way back. Still pushing the shoulders down, but keep open as free your neck, but you won't collapse again into the arm. Just feel the space. One more breath, and we will turn into swinging dancing. So exhaling and pushing away from the ground. And meeting down. And now inhaling and exhaling all the way down to the ground. And we will go through vinyasa. So inhaling forward, exhaling, inhaling upward dog, exhaling.
exhaling, free legged. Few breaths before we go to the other side. Position, 
and the joint between your silk. And let's move to the dance pose. So now a little bit opening and stretching through while dancing. So take the silk behind you as low as you can. Inhale and exhaling, pulling the silk in front while the leg is pushing away from the back. Find that one point to concentrate and feel a balance. Feel the space between your back and the left leg. Keep pulling in opposite directions. Neck long, looking in front or up. And feel that arch through the back, increasing the mobility and flexibility for your spine. A few more breaths. Last breath in. And bringing it out, bending that knee, but this time let's bring the elbows behind the silk and let's stretch through those quads, the thigh muscles. Let's squat down, just don't bring your weight back where you are, just squat towards the floor. So inhale and exhaling down and then pulling away and arching and leaning towards your back foot. So feel that intense stretch through your quads, the left leg. One more breath in. And breathing out, coming up. And now let's open into the split. So just hold the silk away ahead. Inhale, exhaling, extending your back leg. And this time with bringing the weight to the heel and back. Just holding with the middle, shoulders down, arms strong, one more breath in, and now let's fly. So exhale, bend your front knee, push away into the flying split or flying dancer, and let's go on the ground. From here on, let's move to vinyasa. So now hands all the way on the floor, jump back into the plank, inhale, and exhaling, shift forward, chaturanga, inhaling, uh, upward dog, exhaling, three legged. A few more breaths here. And now we will go linking all the poses for one breath or inhaling or exhaling. But everything connected into one flow. So let's leave the same leg, stem the silk, and then we go to change when we repeat on the other side. Okay, so let's get moving. So inhaling into the plank and exhaling right knee towards the chest. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lift your leg up. Inhale, plank one more time. Exhale, knee towards the chest. Inhaling on the ground. Exhaling, lift your right knee up. Inhaling on the ground. And then exhaling into three legged dog. From here on, let's move a few, three times to the left leg to the side. Inhaling that back. Exhaling to the side. Inhaling back. And again, exhaling to the side. Inhaling back. Exhaling, jump forward into that pigeon. This time, just open through your chest and then inhale, look up, up, and all the way down on your own right elbow into the side plank. Extend your legs. Inhale, lift your arm up. Exhale, down. Now, only one time, inhaling, lifting your bottom leg and inhaling on the ground. And coming up into the plank, exhaling into three legged dog. From here, vinyasa, inhaling into the plank, exhaling, chaturanga. Inhaling upward, exhaling downward. And inhaling plank, exhaling right knee towards the chest, and this time into the lunge. Feel my roundness and firmness for your leg. Inhaling airplane, so hands by your hips. Exhaling, just straighten up. Inhaling, lift your legs and jump back. Exhaling, just slide down and open into the dancer. Inhaling, coming down and exhaling, all levels behind the silk. Inhale here and exhaling, squat down and slide back. Inhaling up and exhaling into the split. Inhaling, 
jumping, flying, and coming down. All the way to the mat, jump back into the ground, inhaling, and exhaling in yes. Inhaling up to the upward, and exhaling three legged dog. Few breaths here. And then changing sides, so right foot inside the sun and left on the clock. Two breaths on this side and three legged dog. And let's move on. So inhaling, shift forward into the plank, hold firmly. Exhaling, left knee towards the chest, inhaling plank. Exhaling, lift your leg up. Inhale and fly. One more time. Exhaling, left knee towards the chest. Inhale and fly on the ground. Exhaling, lift up. Inhaling down and exhaling free leg. Let's stay here. Move on only through the right leg. So inhale and exhaling. Go to the side. Inhaling back. Two more. Exhaling, bring to the side and front. Inhaling backwards. And last one. Exhaling to the side. Inhaling back. And exhaling, jumping forward into half pigeon, this time with the chest open up. So inhaling, looking up to the ceiling. And exhaling, moving all your elbows on the right side, side plank. So push away from the ground and extend both legs. Inhaling, lifting your right arm up. And exhaling all the way down. Inhaling, only left leg up. Exhaling down, turning to the front into three legged dog. And then, yes, inhaling forward, exhaling, chaturanga, inhaling upward dog, opening from the chest, and exhaling three legged dog. Inhaling plank, and exhaling, lift your left knee towards the chest into the lunge. Hold it here for a bit, just feel the firmness, and lifting up to the airplane. Inhaling, and exhaling, extending all the way up, grabbing the silk, jumping back into the Inhale and exhaling, sliding through into the dancer. Exhaling, coming down. And now just go all the way through with the elbows. Inhale and exhaling, squatting down into quad stretch. Inhaling up, exhaling, split. And now inhaling, bending your front knee and just a little bit flying through. And coming down and leading to vinyasa. So palms on the ground, jump back into a plank, inhaling, shifting forward, exhaling, pushing down, inhaling, lifting through the chest, exhaling, three legged up. Three breaths. And then both knees. On the ground, child's pose. Two breaths. One breath in. Breathing out. And inhaling, coming up. Stand up, and we will move towards a almost final relaxation pose, Shavasana. Before that, we will do a bridge pose inside the sun. So let's meet in cocoon. If you don't know how to jump in through the flip, check the video above. Let's meet in it. So now, just take your head out, shoulders covered, and bring your soles together, bend your knees into the sleeping butterfly. Hold the edges of the sill, and inhaling, lifting your hips and chest up and arching back, looking to the mass, to the brow. Holding the pose while the knees are opening through, chest and pushing forward, elbows a little bit down. Just a little bit more opening, stretching and also strengthening through that lower back. Last breath in and breathing out. Lower down, knees by your chest, nose towards the knees into a little ball. One deep breath. And then 
just bring your head into the silk. Have a baby, so just knees holding onto the silk. Arms crossed over the chest. So feeling last time for the hips while passively stretching through the lower back. Extend the spine and releasing all the tensions. Feet inside the sill, extend your legs. Get comfortable. The final pose, Shavasana. Close your eyes. Just check through if everything is relaxed. All intense class. Relax your feet, your legs, your hips. Just check through your abdominal area and relax your core as well as your chest. Go through your spine, vertebra by vertebra, bone by bone. Relaxing your arms, your shoulders, the whole face and jaw. Now it's time to just get sink in. Make sure this complete relaxation calmness and recharge your body with new energy. If you feel free just to stop the video and enjoy this longer shavasana. Or if you keep on going with me. Let's have a few more deep breaths. your toes, your fingers, and then inhaling, extending through your arms, and stretching from the side to side. And then, let's meet down on the mat. So sit up straight, relax your shoulders, your arms, close your eyes, just a few more moments grounding through, just feel the difference as opposed to how we started the class, how the body feels, the sensations, or the inner mood, just spectate and notice with awareness and intention of again what's happening here and now. Feel that power up. Be awakened with inner fire throughout this class. open your eyes and there you go guys this is the end of today our aerial yoga vinyasa flow class thank you for joining me and practicing with me and uh, feel free to express your thoughts or comments down below or if you eager to know more information or find my classes everything is down below in the description with all the links about silks class socials you name it so see you next time in other video classes and have a nice day bye namaste